Okay. I have knitted all my rows together. And now I've got my last row knitted. What I'm going to do, I'm opening up all my latches. get in a position where you can see what I am doing. Okay. Now I've opened all my latches. I am a half inch forward back up against the back of the machine. Now what I'm going to do with the blue, because that's the color I'm aiming at, I'm going to lay it on my needles with the latches open, and I'm going to hold that fairly snug, because what I want to do next is I'm going to close, push these all forward, so that the latches do it this way so you can see. So the latches catch on the work. So the latches are caught on the strand of work yarn. I'm just going to gently pull it, put the pull up the loop over there. Now I'm going to manually knit this last row. And I got a half inch board back there, and I'm just pushing it. There's no tension on this yarn, and I'm just pushing the nub of the needle back so that it hits against my half inch board. You can do, see, I'm just kind of rotating the thumb so it pushes one end at a time. I wanted, I wanted an elongated stitch so that when I do my crochet cast on, or my cast off, it is a slightly larger stitch. Okay, now I'm going to bring all my work forward and keep my work, push my work behind the line. Having a long stitch is very handy. Okay, now I'm going to take my latch tool. Don't want, make sure you don't grab your, your pink or your alternate color. Let's see if we can come in a little bit on this one. So you can see it. What I'll do is I will zoom in when I get to about here. All I'm doing is I'm picking up the first Flat loop stitch, putting it on the needle so that it's past the latch, and just I'm just knitting across. I'm gonna pull them all off individually as I knit through to the stitch. At one point, I may have to take my weights off, but they are currently on, and it, it just makes a nice soft edge. Now I was planning on doing a rib border when I get this done. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough for the blue, but I will show you what, I'm, what, I, got, what I was going to do. And what I'm probably going to end up doing is just folding it over and doing a simple band that way.
Like I said, nothing you do can't be repaired. You just have to do it calmly. Don't get all flustered. I'm getting ready to lose my weights, so I'm just going to go ahead and take them off so they don't lean on my toes. I'm leaving the yarn needles in. They, are the, they, are the, they add a tiny bit of weight. I'm just picking up the loop that's on the machine. And pulling it off. Using the latch tool. And I'm just knitting across. It's kind of like how the how you do a, a rib. What happened there is a piece of the stitch got hung up on the needle, so I just lifted it up and off. do when I get to the end here, because it's actually the middle, I'm going to go ahead and cast off the whole thing. Then I'll weave in the pink end that I got over there. Then we get to see what this thing looks like. scissors. I'm cutting a, about a handful. Leave about a fistful so that you can weave it in. Do a little bit of flattening out. I got some big stripes up on this side and some little stripes over here. Well, and, and I guess I did two rows of paint, but I'm just going to leave it. And I'm just weaving all my ends. Ended up like kind of a braidy, braided look on that side. Okay, I'm not sure, yeah, well, I'm going to show you how, if I had enough glue, how I would close it off, because I like a wide 
that to come on in. I want 12. Stitch it out with get the pink out of the way because I want to do it with blue. I am going to cast on twelve. There's my 12. Okay, and that is for my my work. Holding the wrong side facing. Pick a corner. Doesn't matter which corner. Grab your transfer tool. And you're going to hang the first. In this section, it's a stitch. So you're going to hang the whole stitch, the whole first stitch, onto that lonesome, that hook, that stitch that doesn't have anything on it. Okay, then you're going to push the work back, open all the latches. I want to make sure I have enough of my pattern because I want to one. I think I'll do a one to two ratio. I don't ever transform my first stitch. So it's pearl, knit, knit, pearl, knit, knit, pearl, knit, knit, pearl, knit, knit. That'll be fine. Okay, I want to make sure. Okay, bring your carriage over. There's nothing blocking your thing, your carriage. Make sure all the latches are open. And knit two rows. some weights on this. You probably don't really need a big weight, but you will need some weights. So I'm going to put a total of four two ounce weights. Okay, so you want to knit back. You're going to do two rows. next stitch. Make sure this last stitch gets stitched because sometimes it's pernickety. In this case you're hanging every other stitch. Because you're doing one row every other stitch. And since I know I don't have enough to finish this, we're going to pretend we're at the corner. Okay, and what I'm planning on doing, I'm putting this stitch